Welcome to our lecture. In this lecture we are going to download and install WebStorm IDE. We chose WebStorm because we believe it's one of the best IDEs for JavaScript on the market right now. So in this course, from beginning to end, we are going to use WebStorm and we recommend to you to also use WebStorm so that you can easily redo everything what we are doing. To download it, please enter this website www.jetbrains.com. Once you enter it, enter it, here you have products. When you click it, on the left side you can see WebStorm. Please click it. And here you see a nice headline, the smartest JavaScript ID. It's really powerful. So here you can download it. It is a 150 megabytes. So what I recommend, I will pause the video here and I will continue once it's downloaded. Download is finished. Now we click on it and the installation will start. So we say continue. I agree. It will install it under this file folder. OK. You will I will create a desktop shortcut. I will not create any associations. What this means is simple. It means if a file has an extension of JS or CSS or HTML, once you double click it, it will be opened in WebStorm. JetBrains, okay, and installation has started. I will pause again and will continue once the installation is complete. Installation is complete. Now we will run WebStorm. So it is asking whether we have a custom location of previous version of WebStorm settings. No, we don't. So we will check the second radio button and we will continue. And then it's asking about the license. So I recommend to you, if you're not sure after the project if you're going to use WebStorm or not, use the 30 days evaluation. And after 30 days, you can decide to continue with WebStorm or to continue with another IDE. So let's say evaluate. It will ask for a license agreement, accept, OK. And it will almost launch. So right now it's asking for initial configurations. We can skip this, skip this step. And then we have our WebStorm welcome screen. We will say create new project. And here we will type in the project name. So we will choose the empty project. We will not choose any predefined project. It will be the empty one. And here we will say to do F. And at last we can say create. And here we go. We have our to-do app, it's empty and from this point on we can use WebStorm to start our development. Thank you for watching and see you in the next lecture.